Hi, Blueing Dot NG. My name is Mashe Uwashe Noli. I am a food blogger, an owner personality, a food photographer, a mom and a wife. <laughs> For now, no, but I'll still get back into broadcasting. Definitely, once a broadcaster, always a broadcaster. Well, I was on air until September 2013 when I got fired. I was pregnant and sick in the hospital and while on my hospital bed i received an email that said i was fired and that was how i stopped working then after that particular incident i got lots of you know companies other media companies that wanted me to work but i was pregnant and i wanted to focus on my family and my new baby so that was why i took the spell but definitely i'll be going back to broadcasting sometime in the future Well, I'll call myself a foodie. I'm a foodie because I love food and I love everything that concerns food. And I am a food blogger too because I own a blog which is uh, mashecooks.com. So you can call me a food blogger and a foodie. Well, some people are tad chef, cooks and all sorts of things. I just think I'm a foodie, that's all. Yes, I have lots of requests all the time, especially, you know, people who follow me on my Instagram page, they send in messages saying, oh, we want you to come and cook for us, we want you to do all that. But for now, I don't really do large scale cooking because I feel I'm not ready for that. Maybe when I am, I may do it. Maybe I might never do it. I think I'm more of a manufacturer. I enjoy, you know, getting into the laboratory, concocting, bringing spices, blending together, getting something really tasty and beautiful, and helping others make their food taste really good. I think that's where I come from, or where I belong to manufacturing, not necessarily cooking for people. Well, Masha Cooks came um, through its mother, which happens to be the blog. I was blogging and um, during my blogging phases, I had the opportunity to meet lots of people from different parts of the world, in diaspora, name the country, people sending me messages and the rest, and they enjoyed my recipes. They would come to my blog, copy my recipes, use it and send me feedback saying, oh Mashi, it was beautiful, I never could make this before, it was beautiful, my mother-in-law was happy with the meal, my husband was so happy. You know, I got lots of response and then they started saying, we want a part of you. We want something from you. Create something we can use. Even if we cannot eat your own food, gong gong, just create something. That was how the seasoning Mashe Cooks was born. My seasonings are different because they weren't just created by just someone who just wants to make money. I made my seasonings out of love. There was something going on. There was a loving. There was chemistry. I enjoyed bringing in spices, blending, putting it together and getting something really, really good. That was how it came and I put myself into it. So you're not just buying any seasoning out there. You're buying a piece of me, a piece of my art, a piece of my love, a piece of my creativity. And um, everybody's creativity is different. So my spice definitely tastes different from other spices you'll get out there. Well, 
I've received a lot of gifts from various institutions. I remember Jack Daniel and um, I was home, I got a phone call and they were like, hey, is this Mashi? I was like, yes. And they said, we have something for you. We have something special for you. And suddenly it came. They said, we're going to give you a barrel. And then the barrel came. There was this really sweet lady that brought the barrel to me. And she was like, hello, Mashi. Jack Daniel appreciates you. You know, Jack Daniel has chosen you as one of their social media influencers. And then she gave me a hug and handed over the barrel to me. So I took the barrel home, opened it, and there were lots of goodies inside, really beautiful goodies. And that was it. Thank you, Jack Daniel. Yes, I do train people. As a matter of fact, I just finished training a family with two daughters in Meitama not long ago. And from time to time, I do the training. When I'm strong enough to, I do train because it's a very, it's not an easy job to train. It's giving a part of you. I don't just teach people, I impart knowledge to people. So when I have the time to, I definitely train people. I don't belong to any culinary school. I'm not in any culinary school. The only culinary school I work with right now is Mashe Cook's Culinary School. That is me teaching people what I know and what I've learned over the years. It's fair. To be honest with you, I share images on Instagram not to torment people. I think I want people to cook and create these images they see. What I want you to do is see what I have on my page, love it, and then ask me for the recipe. I'm very free with my recipes. I share them easily. And you go home, create it, make it nice, and send me a picture and say, hey, Masha, you taught me how to do this. And that's it, I love it. So it's not to torment you, it's actually to push you, to give you a push, so that you can do something too for yourselves. Yes, my husband has been very lucky. The truth is that I think, you know, cooking good meals is actually part of what made him marry me. Because when he met me, you know, from when we were cutting and everything, he was always coming to my house, he would eat, he loved it. He was so comfortable with, he, with me and my cooking and he was all over me. I think that was part of what, you know, like a catalyst sped up <laughs> the reaction and he proposed. We we're just gisting. We we're just talking the way I'm talking right now. And he said, will you marry me? And I was shocked. And I told him, I said, I have to call my mother first to confirm if I'll marry you. <laughs> Funny as it sounds, it's true. <laughs> it's tons of challenges. Number one in Nigeria, if you're a manufacturer, it's like you do everything for yourself. Your own water corporation, your own, um, how do you call it, um, NEPA or PHCN, because you don't get these coming often. You handle your logistics. You don't have access to finance because banks are not willing to give monies to, you know, small scale entrepreneurs like me. Everything you do it yourself. So money, funding is a huge challenge that we have. So as little or micro entrepreneurs that we are, we have to fund everything ourselves. And of course, there's recession. The country doesn't make thing, um, things easy. You have lots of um, bureaucracy. There are too many of them to mention. But uh, as Nigerians that we are, we keep pushing on. That's it, we push on. No matter the situation, we just keep standing. Most of the things I want are beginning to happen. You will get a lot of my seasonings out there. 
I've been lucky. My seasonings have been in different parts of the world that I haven't even been to. So let's just say a bigger, better mashe cook. That's what we're hoping for in the future. I love that Blueing.ng is showcasing different aspects of Abuja. Because to be honest with you, a lot of people don't know about Abuja. All they know is, oh, it's the FCT, blah, blah, blah. It's a boring place. There's nothing going on there. There's no life there. But it's not true. I appreciate what Blue Ink is doing. Blue Ink is going out there. Blue Ink is showing us what is in the city of Abuja, showing us the people of Abuja, showing us the culture in Abuja, and so much more. And I really, really appreciate that. So that we can let the world know, especially to Lagosians out there, that Abuja is not a boring place. It's a lively place with lots of fun.